Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon and I'm playing more Bloodborne. This is where the torch is. Oh, come on, don't kill me. I don't know how I missed it the first time. Just wanted to show you. So now we're gonna use one of these. And we're back. Uh, do we have any... Yep. So, can we? Yes, we can. Okay, let's do the shock lever plus three. Then we'll equip this one, I guess. Don't need to repair anything. Welcome, what is very well then. Uh, yeah. No, maybe get this to 15. Okay. And we're going back to old Yarnum. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me show you. So, uh, for example, this is how much the lantern lights up. And yeah, the torch. It is much better. I didn't. Is this? Oh no, okay. I thought it was blocked for a second. See the warning. Turn back at once. Old Yarnum, burned and abandoned by men, is now home only to beasts. They are of no harm to those above. Turn back, or the hunter will face the hunt. Okay. First thing you're gonna do is run here. Oh, come on. Are you for real? Mr. Nightmare. Grab these. We can fall here and here. Be careful here, don't rush that guy. This is the Hunter's Torch, it's equivalent but uh, has arcane scaling, much better arcane scaling. Uh, there's no reason not to put it. And then you wanna keep falling. Okay. We can't open this door yet. So we go to Snake Eater Ladder number 4 is this one, I think. Ladders are big in this game. Gonna grab some dew. So you can see the area I had here. You can see there is a path down, there is an open door with a light there. You can almost see Jura. He's up there. Oh, he's there, I think. Yeah, that's him. He's the guy who was spitting with us, and he's sitting in front of a Gatling gun. These are again very simple enemies, but they can overwhelm you if you fight a lot of them at once. Oh, come on. 
and also sometimes they blend in with the environment. We're getting in the rage of the Garden Gun, so you need to be careful here, pull some enemies back. There is a few of them you cannot see behind there. You are a skilled hunter. Adept persons. Half cut with blood, as the best hunters are. Hmm. That is poisoning. This enemy is poison you. If it fills the bar, you start taking damage. Gonna make some blood bullets. Come on. Come on. Alrighty then. If you keep walking forward here, she continues. Which is why I must stop you. And he starts doing that. So there is a ladder, a staircase right in front of us. We're gonna go here though. Fall down. There is a... yeah. Be careful here. Though these enemies, they just don't attack sometimes. Like, look at them. Oh, okay, decided to, to attack this time. Sometimes they just sit and watch you. Oh, come on. Come on, then. Time to die, innit? If we go this way, we'll get back to that staircase. It's the other way down. Now, what I want you to see here... There is obviously, obviously a way forward the... Wait, let me see. We'll first go the other way because we might as well clear those enemies so we don't have to contest with them afterwards. You want to be careful here, he shoots and all these explode. So you want to make him shoot, and then run out, then gun it, you run back here, be careful again, browse, don't get wrecked, and in here, because we're gonna need this area to hide afterwards. Oh. Actually survived. No, come on. Get real. We are not dying here. <coughs> we don't think we've died yet, have we? Uh, okay. Ah, I was too late. It's okay. Gemstone. And another one, this is for guns. Okay, and you see this little hole in the railing there? There is a path, but it is not accessible from this side. And he can shoot from up there. I just want to pull some of them, because we're going to come out of that path afterwards, and we're going to pull all of them, whether we like it or not, so... Might as well pull some back. Try to show you an easy way of doing this. Eh, whatever, that's enough. 
So now we want to go back. Back in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I was scared for a moment. We want to go out here. We want to equip the pungent cocktail and the molotovs. I'm gonna run here. Now, do not panic. Panicking won't get you there. If you don't do this fall properly, you will die. So you're better off being careful. And we go to this little side area. Now, when we go in here and walk in a bit, monsters will start converging from all sides. There, up there, there's a lot of them in here. So what we are going to do is wait a bit, throw a cocktail. I will make them all run up to it. Oh no. Yep, that's the way. And then, with the bulk of them gone, oh, I knew it. I was too slow with the dodge. There's someone else. Uh. Oh, come on, it's too early. Uh, if you catch them mid there with an attack, you will stop them. Interrupt their attack. Let's grab these. It's a lot of blood vials. Vials, 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 vials. Oh, I didn't mean to attack the chest. Okay, we get another gemstone here. The red moon hangs low, and beasts rule the street. Are we left no other choice than to burn it all to cinders? And, well, they did. Burn it all to cinders. And here we get the Chart Hunter Garb. One of the staple attires, yes, a product of the scourge of the beast that once plagued old Yarnum and carbonated in the town's fiery cleansing. The game's dampness makes it highly resistant to fire. Wearers of this attire hunted down victims of the Scourge who survived the raging flames and stains of singed blood. Yeah. It's a cool looking one, I guess. So here. Uh, we are below that broken railing. As soon as you go out, Jura will start uh, shooting at you. So you're better off doing this. Uh, wait, I got turned around a bit. Where is... Oh wait, that's not the railing I thought. Yeah, I done goofed. Wait then. There's obviously a hunter here. But we'll leave him for later. This is the trailing I was showing you, but is this something else or am I just misremembering? I am just misremembering, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. You see what I mean about getting overwhelmed by these guys? You don't want that. Anything that can stun lock you, you don't wanna... Right over here. Very cool. That's your turn.
Now, this hunter, there is no way to good way to go about fighting him. Like, he won't come down here, so we can 1v1. He will just uh, stay up there and Jura will attack you. So, uh, I mean, you have to chase him. You have to stand here, attack him, go back. Attack him, go back. He will keep trying to pull you into the plaza, but... He won't follow down here. He will go up to this point in the stairs and then go back up. Not even sometimes. You see, he backed off faster. Sooner. He doesn't have a lot of health though, so... Oh. Yeah, he heals. Once. This attack is shit to try to parry. That's why I'm not trying. If you feel you can do it, do it. But every time I try, I just take damage, so... I just avoid it and attack him. Oh, we did a plunging attack on him from the stair here. The step. He dropped some bone marrow ash. This is used to enhance your bullets. Special bone marrow, also ash collected from him with charnel lane, invaluable to hunters with weak blood beats who require the use of stronger firearms. And let me see, is there any other items up here? I don't think there are any. This is where the crows are. Where we jumped off. Right over here. So yeah, I don't think there's anything else useful here. This door is locked. Um, okay, yeah, technically you're gonna go upstairs, but again, like the last time, we're gonna first go here and clear some enemies, and then return and take the side path. Attack. Oh, there's someone behind me. Now, uh, yeah, I think it's this one that never attacks. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is. They will scream at you, but they will never attack. I don't know if it's some AI goofiness. But... but whatever. We also want to clear some from below because there is a nasty trap here, or at least, I don't know if it's a trap. We just scream and call everybody and they are all buffed somehow. Now we did some noise coming up. Ah, it didn't work. Sometimes he turns into the wall and just stands there and you can backstab him. But now that he screamed, there's gonna be a bunch of them coming up. Here. And depending on how lucky you are, they might come all together, or like now, a few at a time. Yes, there's items here and up, we'll get to them. Okay, I think that's most of the ones that charge you like that. There's a few of them down there. But no mind right now. We're gonna go back. And we're gonna go for Snake Eater lad Ladder number 5. Or no, we don't have to take the big one this time. We'll only take the small one. So we go halfway up this tower. Obviously, if you know where we are, Jura is above us, the hunter that was attacking us. If you keep going up, you can go to him and fight him, but you don't want to do that. You can become friends with him later, if you don't fight him now. So this is where we fought the first 
the, the guy that's not moving or not attacking and the rest we're above now this is the balcony that we could get out on that's the door over there but there's nothing on it this is the balcony where we fought the small ones right now can come grab that you can see there's another beast in the middle here chained up and uh, removed its blood somehow I'm not sure jump here now this is tricky you want to jump up there but you need uh, sprint speed some people do it by sprinting in circles but I cannot for the life of me do that I always fall down so I'll just get some build up over here and here we go and this is another uh, messenger I never showed you that I should you can give the messengers different stuff to wear like the red blooded dress we found earlier or these bandages now oh there is an item there but you have to drop yeah okay we'll do that later let's just drop here now should be far enough for most of them okay we wanna go actually let's get some bullets as well get this sneaky one and then there's only small ones left essentially you can just oh come on why I'm so bad why am I so bad Are you gonna attack? This is one of the big ones, right? Yeah, yeah. She's not gonna attack. I don't know what the problem is. Okay. Clear that. You can get a better look at the beast from here. It seems like something we're gonna fight soon. But not here. And then one last time, we wanna go up. To the first floor we want to drop here and it's one level down right? Right, right, right right over here some more blood echoes Some ritual blood. This is uh, for the chalice dungeons. Yeah. When all is melted in blood, all is reborn. Mm, yeah, we're gonna go here first. So a few stuff. From here you can see the boss fight room, that's where we're gonna fight. I think it's the Bloodstarved Beast here. I think that's what it's called. You can also see <laughs> that guy over there, <laughs> which is trying to set up a trap, but he's very obvious. And you can also see that guy over there. There is a wandering nightmare on the staircase before the boss oh come on this is the way forward we'll first get here open up the shortcut
Uh, I mean, that's behind Jura, right? It's a door we couldn't open behind the ladder that leads us to the hunter with the Gatling gun. Now, uh, there's obviously some small beasts hiding uh, between the pillars and behind the smoke, but they're not very dangerous, it's uh, just two or something. So just run forward to get this guy. Okay, it's three of them, but whatever. Just be careful, don't get overwhelmed. Should be fine. Yep, there's nothing else here. There's a couple of beasts here, so again... Try to pull them one by one, the other one is a bit down the road, I think. Or that way. No, to the left. Come on. Oh. Okay. Just die. If you're not gonna cooperate. I like this effect they have on water in this game. I mean, here it makes no sense, because where is this light coming from? Uh, but at other areas it's very nice. When it's a lake and you can see the moon reflect on the surface. Some bloodstone shards. If you come this way, you'll find a big locked door. And I think some bolt hunters marks. Oh no, bloodstone shards right there. Somebody dangling upside down here. We're gonna go left here first, and you can see this is where the trap is set. We could see it from over there. He won't jump at you until you go back here, and then you can just... Grab the stone shards. The beast blood pellets. Large medicinal pellets supposedly formed of coagulated beast blood, banned by the healing church due to their unclear origin, grants a spurt of beast wood. Ripping apart the flesh of one's enemies and being rained upon by their splattering blood invigorates one's senses of beasthood, feeding strength and euphoric feeling alike. So, beasthood. Uh, beasthood is a hidden stat you have. There are a few uh, runes. I haven't found any runes yet, but there are a few runes that increase it. Essentially, when you use this item or you have it passively via a rune, um, the more you attack, uh, a bar will fill and you will deal more damage and also take more damage. Essentially, quote-unquote, transforming into a beast. You're not actually going to transform, but... This way first. Oh, it's the other door. There's nothing else down here. In here and again to the right. We can open this door. This is the first shortcut door we ever found in this area. This ladder will take us back to the start. And come to think of it, maybe we should go level up now. Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of echoes.
And I'm still in a dream, snake eater. Didn't miss anything back here, did I? Nope. You know the drill by now. We use our cold blood. We do this because it will refill our vials when we leave. We repair. We cannot further fortify. Uh, we don't have twin bloodstone shards, but we have a lot of of the normal shards. So we can 39 already. So we can definitely plus three our gun as well. Got 20 more damage on it. And then, did we get, well, definitely not better than this one, but maybe better than the other one? 1.1%. 1 .1%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll use this one. The continuous heal is nothing. One HP is nothing per second. And we don't need anything else here. Well, what? Over Anything time, no. it... very well. Let. We're gonna do this 15, and then we're gonna start upping our skill, I guess, a bit. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your. We still don't have a good skill weapon, but we'll get one. Oh, it doesn't refill the vials? Oh, sure it does. Oh well. Yeah, see, if you have enough damage to defeat them in one stamina bar, you don't need to bother with parrying or backstabbing or whatever. Now, there is a guy behind here. Don't worry about it. You don't have to fight it. You can just do that. And there is another doggo. <laughs> or a beast, I don't know why I keep saying dogs. He's got red eyes, so he does a little bit more damage. Okay, now, Rush here. Remember, there's this guy. I don't want to lose him. In case you miss any of them, don't worry. Clear the enemies around, exit, reload the game, and he will be here again. You don't have to respawn the enemies to respawn the nightmares. Nothing here. Okay. Now, here you can summon. Uh, I don't suggest you do. You can summon Alfred. In, in my humble opinion, all the fights become more difficult when you summon people because they get so much health, the bosses do. And the companions don't seem to do as much damage to make up for it. Also, uh, it messes up with the boss's patterns and it kinda screw you over can kind of screw you over. I don't know, it's a matter of whatever you like most. If you want to summon something, summon them. But it is my opinion that you're better off fighting it alone. There's nothing back here. Okay. I want to equip a few stuff here. 
Again, these sticks increase damage from Molotovs, so equip them just in case. I'll actually do the Antidote first, because you might need that. Do the Molotovs, and then do the Blood Cocktail for case of emergency. It will only throw it away for a single attack or something, but it's better than nothing if you need a little space to heal and stuff, you know? Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Let's go. Oh, yes, I am forgetting something. It's quick to fire, right? This is again one of those fights you're better off not locking on. fight Where are you going? Okay, I think we triggered phase 2. Yep. So now he can poison you occasionally. And on phase 3, he just has an aura around him that poisons constantly. Well, we can Use the time here to oh, reapply this. Yep, face change. Now he does continuous poison around him. Unless you stagger him. I think if you stagger it, it removes the buff for a while. Until it reapplies. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive. Now, if you're a new player, you're definitely gonna have issues with this boss. Don't worry about it, just keep trying and remember to be aggressive. Aggressiveness is always rewarded in this game. Well, 90% of the time. We're gonna return to the dream now. I don't want to jinx it, but so far it's a zero deaths. Didn't start as a no death run, but hopefully it will end as one. No, <laughs> that never happens. Welcome. Level up. Over time. It... Very well. Okay, now one point, one point. Ah, uh, it's. It's very tempting to go Vitality. We're gonna need to go this all the way up to 50. But I don't wanna fall behind for when we find uh, a weapon with good scaling, because now 2 points for 2 damage is nothing. While here we can get like 50 hit points. I'll do 1 and 1, just so I don't fall completely behind on skill. No. We put three points there before. I'll just go for health. <laughs> Farewell, good heart. May you find your. I am very decisive, as you can see. Okay, I won't talk to German yet, so we have what he is going to say fresh for the next episode. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you are enjoying the series, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if uh, you see anything I can do better. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye. Come on.